video, I will tell you how you can have communication between a watch and a phone in the context of iOS. From the phone to watch, you send messages because on the one hand, you have the main application that is executed on the iPhone device. And on the other hand, you have the extension, the watch app extension that is executed on the Apple Watch. And uh, typically, uh, you can uh, have some exchanges so that, of course, the main application can drive the watch application and the watch application can drive, monitor also, drive the application from the watch. And of course, from watch to phone, it's absolutely the same thing, okay? You also send messages. The involved class are WC section, and you have also an associated protocol that is WC session delegate. And both are provided by a framework called watch connectivity. First of all, you have a WC session. And a WC session handles a session from both sides. So you will have to have a session open on the main device and on the watch device. The principle is very usual. You get a reference to the shared WC session because you have one shared WC session represented by the class property default. And you can also perform some checks. You have several types of checks. The class method that allow you to know if WC session is supported on that device. And then you can check if there is a watch paired with the um, phone. And also if this watch is paired, the application is reachable. It means that the corresponding application is running on the Apple Watch. Then you have to configure the session. Basically, you set the delegate that will receive uh, the uh, callbacks. And then you can activate the session thanks to the activate method. Then you can exchange messages. And when you send message, you are using a WC session method. You have two ways to send message. Either you send them as a dictionary of string and any, and it stands for simple types or for types you can uh, uh, serialize a bit, or you can have a complex data structure that you pre-serialize and then that you send as a data or NS data in Objective-C. So there, has, there are these two possibilities. You can also associate a reply handler and an error handler that are invoked for example, typically, in case you have an error or in case you want to handle a reply. Uh, when you receive messages, you have to go with WC session delegate that invokes several methods you can implement according to your needs. So you have methods that provide you with a string any, a dictionary with keys that are strings and uh, any's, so any reference, or you can get data or NS data in Objective-C, then you will deserialize this information. And in some situations, you may also have a reply handler that you uh, want to invoke uh, so that uh, you can uh, send uh, a reply to. Of course, you have to be careful with the dictionary because you must pass serializable types. Otherwise, you get into trouble. WC session delegate also offer other methods. First, to handle successful or unsuccessful uh, completion of uh, the session. So here, typically, uh, uh, you can get information. And if here you have an error that is not nil, it means that there is a problem. You can handle session. So uh, check if the session did become inactive or if it did reactivate, or if the watch state did change. And finally, you can also handle reachability. Uh, typically, is the application on or off? And of course, uh, so here it's more or less, is the application, uh, is the watch on or off? Here, if the application running on the watch or not, okay? And you can also perform a bit of file transfer and a few other goodies. You have to look at the fantastic manual. So as a conclusion, it's quite useful because you have lots of situations where the watch app 
are companions of regular app and allow you to drive the regular app. This is typically the case with music player. You have numerous music player with watch extension. So you have your headphone and you have your uh, phone in your pocket. And when you want to change track, hop, hop, you play with your watch. You don't have to uh, take your phone out of uh, your pocket, etc., etc. So you, you do not have to hesitate. It's a very classical situation when you have both counterparts of the application on the watch and on the main device that are executing and collaborating together. Uh, but you have to remember that you are in a situation where you, are, you have a distributed system. And a distributed system with asynchronous communication like in a real network because this is in fact networking uh, so it becomes a bit complex even though you have just two hosts to deal with but you have asynchronous receiving and sending of messages and you may have loss of messages etc etc so you really have to to be careful because you enter in a more complex era than just the one of handling events in an application. Thank you for your attention. See you later.